if he's gonna manage to have some amazing opidums over here i mean i don't see stone yet but there might be stone over here uncovered or i should say covered by the lands uh, we do have them uh, relatively close to each other and look at this oh beautiful what is this what is this wooling yuan right in the face of shaka right towards the goal i mean i'm pretty sure we know what shaka is gonna settle his second city i would i would assume this is gonna be his destination right here right yeah, that's a remap you think that's a remap for the fish i mean i'm pretty sure we're gonna have right to one remap for each team and we're gonna need to see how they're gonna evolve i did want to take a, a look at something before we actually get to take a look at the land over here i do want to put it up really quickly on the screen so you can uh, see the rules over here um, uh, as you can see we do uh, we are playing on a very very hot timer uh, looks like we do have uh, the map size on dual that's uh, the 1v1 standard resources on standard world each new strategic resources set on guaranteed which is basically standard right now because it was in, uh, it was introduced with a bbm and it uh, replaces basically uh, okay bands 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 bcy is on balance so they're gonna get the 2-2 base we do have also uh, bermuda uh, triangle the only wonder band in the game the only wonder bermuda triangle is the only wonder band in the game but we do have some auto bands theodora is gonna be auto band vatican city uh, kumasi and lahore are also gonna be banned itinerant preachers plus mission in Brazil plus defender of the faith Ooh. You don't, I mean, they let Crusade in, but you don't get Defender, okay. <laughs> a lobby order and host, anyway, this is uh, gonna be it. Okay, let's see how the players are actually gonna try to um, take a look at the lands over here. It looks like the first guest at is moving to the left, while we do have a scout coming up in three turns here, two turns from the city of Alpha. He does have Wander Brunei to the west side to bully a little bit. I doubt that he's actually gonna take over that city quickly. Uh, and we do need to see how fast he can actually get eyes over here on Wuling Yuan. I believe that turn remap is turn 10 right wide and early hello there said and welcome shaka the spear of a fion duel wait oh my god oh my god you saw it yeah yeah this is this is this is shaka this this is spear of you and shaka with yuling yuan i mean can this guy get more culture I, I i'm guessing if he gets more culture over here he's just gonna get to totally bypass moksha just go directly pingala internals or something get the science going oh my god this is beautiful this is amazing anyway we do need to take a look at here at tulundi with his spices in the capital he has a 311 he knows he doesn't need to scout to the east side because you know there's a block of water over there that uh well nobody actually wants to dive in the waves there and we do have him oh my god meeting yuling yuan first and then also getting a hotter and that's definitely going to be an experience for this uh scout i'm pretty sure that's going to pop the level one we do have task for fish with his own scouts coming out here soon closing in on willing yuan while i do notice um we do have settlers probably popping out from uh, both of these oh three scouts oh my god i think task for fish is gonna get bullied why do i have the impression that task for fish is gonna get bullied look at him he's not actually oh my god is he gonna move south or north south or north guys 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 south or north is he gonna move is he gonna see is he gonna oh my god he moved north he does not know what he does not know oh my oh my this is this is terrible this is terrible yeah uh, fish is always the biggest even with this shaka spear of you and duel yes uh, is it okay for one player have three uh combat uh, combat strength and another zero uh you mean uh, def for defender of the faith um well depends uh, you mm, you look slimmer today thank you so much oh thank you so much sir. oh perfect yes 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 getting that uh, extra fluffy off yeah 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 perfect perfect okay we do have uh, zulu over here coming out with his scout between Yuling and yuan he somehow managed to actually get through uh, both of the gallic scouts over here as you can see the vision is uh, not there he, he, he they just don't see each other they passed each other not even not even smelling each other they not even the smell went past this forest we do have a settler coming up in two turns and i do have to say that fish does have a scout in his capital he can actually keep that scout there so he can uh, move the settler with it escorted while i do notice uh, the settler from ulundi is coming up in one turn we do notice that manuji is keeping up oh he saw it he saw it right in the nick of time 10 10 over here and he did manage to see yuling yuan he probably did also um, 
I see the notification of the error score that he wasn't the first one to meet it. So he knows. He knows Zulu is there. Somewhere around that river, there is Zulu. It was about the city states. Oh, the city states. The city states. Oh, okay. Uh, no, no. I don't think it's uh, okay. But to be honest, uh, it doesn't really happen that often that you're going to see. Uh, wait. If I remember correctly, in the 1v1s, you are not allowed to keep any city states. Or at least that's the last one we want that I took. If I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think you are allowed to keep city states. Let me see if I uh, still have the rules over here. No, I don't see. I don't see. Schedule, schedule, schedule. Uh, disasters, victory. No. No city state. No city state can be captured. No city state can be captured. So um, probably you're talking about mostly the first MIPS, right? You get like a little bit of culture, you get a little bit of gold, a little bit of production. Yeah, yeah, not fair, not fair. But to be honest, neither is uh, the fact that you're going to have like extra wonders next to you. Like I would uh, definitely say Giant Causeway is much more valuable than a one gold per turn that you get from uh, the um, city state. Uh, you can't keep yes yes you can take them out but you cannot keep them frankie four fingers good evening sir and welcome uh trinda had to relobby his game after keeping a city state yeah you cannot keep them uh, there was uh, quite a discussion around this like a year ago uh, when uh, in the 1v1 tournament there were in CCC in the, in the CCCs uh, they did notice that uh, there was quite an imbalance being created by taking over the city states and also the map how it actually split the city states between the two players um, giving one a lot more than the other and of course uh, with cities right on in the face of your opponent for example so you can use that city you can use the momentum from getting that city getting the experience points and going towards your opponent without uh, making a settler it, it just was a bit too much for the 1v1s usually in the 1v1s all of the bonuses matter a lot more because well you don't really have anybody to rely uh, on uh, nor do you have uh, some safety created by for example frenemies right in the ffa sometimes you don't really want to uh, go against your neighbors but you it's not like you're going to keep armies watching at each other's uh, every time right you're going to have some frenemy mentality over there you know like okay he's there i'm not gonna do anything i know he's my enemy but he's also kind of friendly you know like he, he's you know just taking care of the lands there <laughs> and it's all fine we're sharing the water we're sharing the bread it's all good now but at the same time uh, in the 1v1s you don't really have any kind of space so basically what happens over here you're gonna see them uh, trying to use every little bit of an advantage they have from uh, the tiny advantages that we don't get to talk about that much in the proper 4v4s because to be honest i mean it matters but it doesn't matter as much as it matters right here for the overall game now we don't need to take a look how they spawn this time looks like a, a fish oh my god he's gonna have one of the okay i'm not gonna say it i'm not gonna say it because i know chad knows chad knows i think chad knows yeah the fish is going to be happy tonight we do have him with that culture wonder to the north he can easily settle next to it i am pretty sure he's also going to be happy with the plus six opidums that he's going to get over here between the marble tiles those stone tiles we do have him with a plus six uh, to the east side he doesn't know about the horse yet but he's gonna know he gonna know look at that plus six plus eight possible le later on in the game but he does need to kill a forest for it i'm pretty sure he gonna try to chop it I'm, I'm pretty sure he gonna try to just get a building out and put that to work over get that axe taking down those trees and we do have him also with a pretty good settle over here to the southeast on the cattle tile and i do notice uh, he's gonna be significantly further away than the last time from zulu like he they have basically both ends of the map we got on the left side the fish on the right side we got zulu and looking at zulu here it does seem like yes he's gonna have quite a few chops in the capital but man there's not there's no culture wonder i don't know no culture wonder no spice no spice no spice for that uh, terrain over here where, where is the spice we did have uh, manushi getting his uh, spices to the southeast 
Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess, you know, BBM knew how to cook or something. We do have uh, also Manushi this time around not popping out that many scouts. He did manage to pop them from the huts this time. Not the same luck. He does have Pamukale to the southeast, which is going to be quite uh, sad to see these horses actually popping the best tiles of the pa Pamukale Wonder. And while I do notice he's going to have a decent amount of land to settle, I wouldn't really go as far as to say it's amazing land to settle. Like to the north, uh, definitely... Uh, good to the west side definitely good like this 2-1 over here with the other two twos uh, and the three to banana to grow faster and gazargamo i mean i guess it's a city but you can't really take it and we do have uh, the goal on the other side with some amazing opidums i don't know i like this this definitely can be played but it seems like a goal over here we're gonna have uh, he's gonna have quite a bit of an advantage over the manuji uh a bit a bit of an advantage we're gonna need to see of course if the extra um, extra um, uh, chops on uh, Zulu will actually make up for uh, that extra culture that he that the uh, goal is gonna get from the north. Does he see this? Uh, he sees he sees it. He didn't actually discover it, but he sees the tiles. Or at least I hope so, because he kind of got away with the guessate. Maybe it was a flood over there and he was like, no, I'm not staying in this water, man. It's chilly cold, man. I'm not touching that with a four-foot pole. Uh, hello there, Alex2005. Good evening, sir, and welcome. What's the Royal Rumble? This is a 1v1 tournament. It is, well, you... I'm not sure if it, you could call it a normal 1v1 tournament because it is um, being uh, organized on multiple servers like on CPL and on CBFR at the same time, like combining um, you know, all of the player base over there and of course listening to different channels and so on. And also the rules are a little bit changed than the normal ones that we've seen in the 1v1s, like for example from the CCCs. You now we do have a few wonders, quite a few actually, uh, City States being banned, uh, Theodora being banned, but also all of the other leaders, if I'm not mistaken they are allowed in uh, so the players do have like a wide range of leaders to play now uh, we do have also religious victory turned on not off like in the ccc so the the players will need to take care of um, as much as possible their uh, religious uh, problems yeah they they need to take care of them theodora was banned auto banned she, she didn't even get a chance didn't even get a chance to call her case. Nothing. She she was left at the door over there. Nah, yeah, that was kind of bad. A CC waiting room with gold spawn and builder hut. <laughs> well, yeah, you're not wrong. Well, <clears throat> when is the fish going? And why is he going to the north one? Is he actually not? Oh, okay. He so he doesn't want to take the chance of actually not having uh, <clears throat> good tiles to settle on the right side of Paititi because he doesn't see it. He doesn't see it. He only knows about these, right? He only knows about these little tiny culture points, and that's about it. And of course, the spy style. <clears throat> Easy peasy. Not basil. No, no, not basil. Uh, they did ban uh, Vatican City. Yeah, they did ban Vatican City. And something else. Wait, they banned something else, which I don't remember. Also, I do want to say uh, hello over there to uh, YouTube. How are you? How is everybody doing? Good evening, good evening, Cloud Silky, and uh, welcome, sir. Also, Easy Matrix. Good evening, sir, and welcome. I did also notice Hatman. Hello there, sir, and welcome. Thank you so much for writing first over there in the channel. Let me uh, put up my chats in order so I can actually see properly what's going on over here. While we'll take a look at the remap uh, vote. Click, click, this needs to pop out over here and needs to stay next to this. And then we do have this and this and this and that. And boom, and boom, and down, bow, bow, bow. Oh, Manuji said no. Manuji said no. Um, the missionary belief, I believe, that ignores the movement penalty. Oh, right, right, right. Missionary zeal or something. Yeah, that's, that's definitely, like, that's very toxic. Not gonna lie. That's one of the... Like it happened to me, I wanted to see it on and experience it myself. And why H Love did it to me a long time ago. Oh my god, man. Oh my god. He was Poland, he was buying out uh, apostles and missionaries. I was Egypt with like war cards. I was thinking, hmm, I'm gonna get some war cards because they actually move faster and stuff like that. If you start on flatland. Man, there was no way to go. They were so fast. They were just woo, 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 zipping around everywhere like little mini fascists over there. Fium, fium. You, you only got a glimpse of it. You know, where did it go? Where did it go? <laughs> oh my God, man. And then I knew no missionary zeal, man. No missionary zeal. 
Uh, and hello, good evening, sir, and what's wrong with you? Bienvenue, bienvenue. Uh, also, new about the builder. Uh, yeah, Basil feels like it uh, would be very strong now. It's like you can't afford to pose units while at war or you lose. Really, uh, yeah, yeah, you're not wrong, but it can be defended. Uh, that's the problem. You cannot really guarantee with uh, Basil the second that you're gonna push through your opponent. It can be defended. And if you end up uh, just derailing yourself, Basil the second doesn't really have a comeback after that. So probably players are gonna be like, mm, I would want a safe, uh, like a safer, you know, choice. Uh, but Basil also has a lot of cover to keep the pressure from both religion and military. Yeah, and he says a very, very stupid temple. Yeah, Giga. Giga spawn again. Well, I guess um, that's for fish over here. Uh, did make the rituals to get to spawn better. He did it. I don't know to which gods he's praying, but that's for fish over here. It seems like he found the correct gods to spawn. We do have him uh, getting the scout out in three times. And yes, we're going to see him uh, actually settling all of this land over here. I do notice this time around he's going to have more stone tiles. Then, of course, he's going to have those quarries on his uh, marble tiles. While I do uh, see he's going to also have Chingi de Bebaraha. It does seem like that's a bit too far away to uh, uh, care about it at the beginning of the game. With a pretty powerful plus six to the sound of alpha the opidum doesn't actually oh my god this is amazing i gotta say he doesn't need to do anything just put down the opidum over there discover bronze and put down the opidum wow okay well i guess it is what it is it, well it is what it is extra food extra production some little gold some horses running around i mean this guy doesn't need to move anywhere he has everything in the city of alpha he probably named it like that because he knew he knew well, unfortunately, we don't actually have volcanoes to tell us exactly how excited we should be when the war will start. But I'm pretty sure we're going to need to take a look how Manuji is going to play out his pawn here with his uh, scout coming up in one. Then we do have him uh, moving his uh, warrior towards the west. He does have a hut to the south. And, well, I would say Krakatoa to settle here. But I'm pretty sure the geothermal is going to be much more uh, interesting at the beginning of the game rather than uh, Krakatoa. Too much, way too much distance. Now, I'm pretty sure he's also going to settle there at some point looking at his spawn he does have two two base with other two twos around at least two so he can play his uh, play his uh, two pop in there and i do notice he's gonna go two scouts here I'm gonna delay that um, settler that first settler so he can get the vision around him with uh, the city of alpha also going for two scouts doesn't seem like he's gonna be behind in any way shape or matter with uh, quite a few of these uh, iron tiles also on the east side i'm actually quite curious where alpha is gonna want to settle his first city it doesn't seem like anything is sticking out properly here i mean there are definitely quite a few possibilities but neither of them are actually complete right we've seen last time actually a lot better I would say second settles but anyway he does have this settle to the north with uh, the stone tiles with the diamond tiles of course not a lot of food he could settle cattle if he wants to and i'm pretty sure he's gonna be happy with the opidum to the northeast and while uh, to the east side he's gonna have a bit of a problem with the opidum if he doesn't actually put it over here somewhere to the southeast if he's gonna go for the river on the uranium tile on the two ones or so on he's gonna need to choose where he can't really put the city uranium and then put the opidum over here right he actually needs to do something around this we're probably going to see if he's going to want to go as far as to this 2-2 uh, two -two base so he can get the plus 6 opidum to the east side. It also will depend, I'm pretty sure, how Zulu is going to want to plan out his cities over here you know, in time. And while uh, Gol might not want to grab the land as fast as you might think to the east side, he might actually want to be a bit more pro uh, protected when he's going to go east, when he's going to manage to get uh, some armies out, some ex extra technology over Zulu, uh, something that will allow him to defend the city if it's going to be in trouble. I'm pretty sure also Task for Fish is going to soon find out where Zulu lives. Uh, the smell of Zulu is coming in. It's coming through the Krakatoa um, uh, senses over here. We do have all of that science and culture sprinkled around. And it looks like Krakatoa was, I think, I guess, I mean, Krakatoa did feel something. You know, it felt something in the air that it felt the need to explode a little bit. I think we might have an explosive game tonight. Don't you think so? I think so. Internals? Yeah, probably. How do you optimize food on uh, gold? Um, yeah, basically Magnus internals. You you just get the food going. Build farms. No, oh, Iki Machiavelli calling out the building farms. I mean, pretty sure he can actually do it one on the right style. That's gonna be good. The uh, irrigation bonus boost, 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 boost. boost. 
<laughs> no, tú me y tú cabes. <laughs> you know? Yeah, man, you gotta be fast these days. You never know when a tomato comes through the door, man. I would guess, uh, okay, okay. Let me see. How do you throw over the, the, wait, the top? How do you throw over the top? What's that? Also in Sasu, Bonsoir must be venue. Krakatoa should be banned. Yes. Uh, oh my God. Uh, goal, good game goal plus six opidum. Yes, yes. All triangle. Good evening, sir, and welcome, welcome. Who the priester was also calling this out. This is the thing. The juice, the sauce, the spawn of goal over here. Oh my God. Well, that's what fish looks like. He found his second set. He found his second city and looks like he's going to be somewhere in the southwest where he does have quite a few, an array of uh, chops. But I got to say, he doesn't really have opi dudes. Opi, opi, opi dudes. Is he going to go south? I don't think he's going to go south. I really don't think he actually crossed the river so he can go here. Right? I don't. I just don't think so. You see, what is he seeing here? No. And he sees he doesn't really have that many times. If he doesn't have horses, and I'm pretty sure he went directly bronze working, he doesn't have horses. So uh, I don't think he sees that. Uh, did he just ran out? Is he working gold? No. No. Okay. So he's not working the diamond stands. I'm pretty sure he sees horses. He sees horses. Okay. Never mind. He sees horses. I think this two, two uh, horse over here is because he sees horses, right? I hope so. If gold no uh, Temple of Artemis, uh, I will riot. <laughs> uh, Royal Rumble eliminates opponents by throwing over the top rope of wrestling ring. I mean... Oh. Am I? What? I'm not sure I understand. Uh, set the Lux uh, build a Temenanki. Uh, well, that would have been nice if he had the Lux over here. But yeah, the cotton is just one tile too far. Uh, we do have uh, Zulu coming in through the eastern mountains. And it looks like Gold did manage, manage to actually snatch a builder from Yerevan. Uh, while uh, I do notice uh, Fish is going to get another scout out from Alpha. Looks like that was a bit uh, pretty uh, over here. That's uh, Cedra needs to come out in four tens. It definitely is itchy to uh, get some more information from uh, his opponent. He did not manage to actually meet. Uh, oh, he did manage to meet him. Never mind. He actually did manage to meet him and it looks like he's actually gonna try to block the settle that's for fish smelted correctly we do have zulu trying to actually get onto that tile for the one one and it looks like zulu is bringing also a scout with a slinger to help him actually push against uh, the task for fish and scout and i'm pretty sure he's just gonna move him out now we do need to see where this settle is gonna go because right now with the scout actually figuring out where zulu is and where is he joining and he sees that there isn't that much i would say there isn't that much uh, hill terrain over here to the east of Alpha between Alpha and Nulundi to cover. Oh my god, man. I swear. Um, goal free builder every game. I mean, the guy knows how to spawn, man. The guy knows how to spawn. Uh, we do have the war declaration being sent. Looks like Manuji has been the one declaring war on his opponent. He just gave defensive uh, boost, uh, good culture boost to uh, task for fish. It is fine. It is what it is. It's a risk, but he definitely needs this uh, spawn out as soon as possible. And I'm pretty sure he's going to try to tap this, um, the, this uh, scout at the last second. While I do notice the scout will have a promotion. We do have him. There we go. With a promotion over here, it does seem like he did get it. And uh, we did have another wave of attack. Uh, coming out from the scout from the cat scouts uh, going against uh, the fish and scout of his uh, own well it looks like zulu right now will uh, get into the borders of goal and uh, we, by the looks of it we do have some floods uh, going on in the gallic territory in the south while i do notice uh, goal is going to get his uh, guess at the back he does have a bit of a problem here with his uh, other scout looks like uh, he might actually give the archery boost to uh, zulu if he's not going to move away from there he might actually just move away last second go into the banana and let that settler be we do need to see what that's for fish is gonna do he still has movement on the scout and that would be probably the only way there we go it's probably the only way uh so um, to get out to move that's what i'm saying it's the only way now we do have another settler coming out from Ulundi in two turns another settler coming out from alpha next turn uh in the tech side both uh, sides are actually going for a bronze working and it looks like a task for fish for going um animal husbandry first and then going into bronze working he's definitely not far away uh, from anuji discovering on bronze working and i really don't think zulu actually did go for uh, animal husbandry at the beginning and we do have uh, also pantheon being chosen religious settlements is going to be chosen here by uh, zulu i am actually very very curious what you guys are voting right now in uh, the twitch chat oh you're not voting ah 
why didn't you tell me i didn't actually click the vote okay it's 30 minutes guys 30 minutes we get the votes going let's go i'm starting up the votes on twitch we do have them um with the bits with the bits you have a chance to uh, with the bits sorry with um with the channel points you have a chance uh, with the powerpoints to actually uh, win more powerpoints uh, by correctly predicting the victory condition of this game is it gonna be a conceit is it gonna be a culture victory science victory if it's gonna be religious diplomatic oh you never know let's see who's gonna predict correctly um, oh seven four four eight three three nine one five six has joined the round table bro why do you have a romanian number good evening sir but i i i don't even know if that's good like you know to say it out loud <laughs> oh my god man uh good evening sir thank you so much for the follow i hope that uh you know you actually have a phone number there i'm just saying you know you might want to take a look at it or is it a pun are you doing a pun on somebody alex 2005 um we vote victory condition and not a winner yes i think so right i that was an idea that they busy put out at the beginning and i was like oh yes let's see this let's see this going i mean definitely we we need some spice okay oh this is terrible actually goal was forced to put noviodunum to the south is he actually gonna want to get the temenanki over here oh my god that's gonna take forever in a day well we do have him with the opidum to the east side that's gonna be uh, between uh, two of these uh, horses at least uh, plus four uh, while i do notice he's also gonna have uh, well i guess access to the one from alpha either as a plus six over here but i don't think he's uh, gonna want to give up from the capital that extra bonus a big man also good evening sir and welcome i mean the river flooded twice uh, it's a nice city it's not a bad city i mean you say nice city but that city is basically working at 2 2 and uh, 3 1 3 right now uh yeah i mean it's gonna take a while it's gonna take a while <laughs> anyway now do we have we still don't have actually a pantheon coming up from task for fish she did not go for uh, the faith uh, card no he did he did he did go for the faith card he uh, probably manuji did manage to get the faith uh, pattern at the beginning probably with the yerevan first meet i do notice uh, goal is gonna send that center towards the north and yes uh, he did declare war on yerevan earlier anyway to get the builder away from it it looks like a goal is still at war so he might actually find it hard to uh, get that hut away from yerevan uh, looks like also zulu did manage to get the builder out and i do see another center coming out uh, next to bulawayo it looks like the first uh, ikandas are also so getting placed right in the face of his opponents he's deploying these uh, in the direction of his opponent task for fish is probably gonna be he's probably gonna have a special sign when you get out from the ikanda you know like go towards the fishing land it's just one single sign one single sign there's like no city go back to the city go back to i don't know bananas go back to uh, the forest over there no it's like one single sign task for fish that way and that's it the zulu knows he's gonna be there noviodunum to the rescue he built noviodunum so he can build six farms <laughs> yeah feudal is a bonus Woo -hoo! <laughs> yay anyway we do have uh, god of craftsman coming up over here from uh, the goal we do have him also getting a slinger out from uh, the city of alpha and i do notice uh, to the east side he's trying to push out these uh, zulu units uh, we did have him also starting to get the culture going this is very nice on his minds and the two two three one diamond tile is definitely going to be pog while he's going to get his items improved he's also going to try to get iron working as uh, quickly as possible uh, we do have him uh, getting another builder from bravo and it looks like he did manage to get the first trader going from the city of bravo that city is only working oh my god this is a free pop city only working a single two two he it's not like he doesn't have the gold don't get me wrong task for fish definitely has the gold he doesn't want to invest into this he's just working the one two tiles and that's it probably he switched the rice tile right probably switch the rice tile a two two and then working a one two that's why he's uh, also getting this builder so late right now and we do have him uh, sending uh, the trader from bravo to alpha he's working on internals he's also going to get uh, god of craftsman to boost his uh, production up on all of these strategic resources already has two four one horse tiles to use oh that's a pretty strong horse style that is a very strong horse a very strong horse 
Well, uh, let's see, what do we have? Uh, Western Religious Settlements, Zulu is probably gonna wanna catch up in the city count here soon. We do have him still struggling to get his third city on the map, uh, going towards Tra in Krakatoa, where he's gonna get a good influx of uh, science and, of course, of culture. We do have him also with a possible silver settle if he wants to go for that um, resource. While I do notice he's also sending his trader from Bulawayo to Ulundi to get, try to get as uh, quickly as possible the roads there, the infrastructure built. We do have him uh, going for pottery next after he did manage to get the Ikanda. So he does need to build the barracks and I'm pretty sure he's gonna want to get some uh, campuses here and there. We're going to need to see uh, also his economy, how his economy is gonna get going because he can't really fully rely on Pernbrush and Voice, Cold Rage and all of the upgrades in his uh, series. Although, looking at his series, he does have pretty good upgrades, I gotta say. Like diamonds, he has some coffee tiles, some bananas over here, a copper. I mean, you know, that's uh, like seven gold right Right there of a fortune when you can't get it right but i'm pretty sure he's gonna require a lot more i'm pretty sure he's gonna require a lot more and i'm pretty sure he's also gonna require to put some like commercial somewhere a trading post somewhere you know like something that gives him gold uh, 138 religious i'll take it okay how does the score looking uh, let's see we do have a 20 out of 19 for the fish while Manuji is on 13 out of 19 but he's gonna settle Krakatoa over here I think he should be fine uh, he might even get a boat I don't think wait a second yeah there's enough time there's enough time to get a boat I'm pretty sure he is uh, very very close to getting sailing he should be fine I don't think he wants to get a boat don't get me wrong I'm pretty sure he wants another well another bonus but you know it is what it is you gotta do what you gotta do for that golden age man To dilute your rates? What? Gold so much more food in production already. I would have him on 33 versus 26 and 36 versus 21. I gotta say on the food per 10, definitely task for fish is leading the way there. We do have an encampment put down from uh, Bravo and I do notice uh, he's uh, gonna start upgrading the tiles in the city of Charlie here pretty quickly. He's uh, also gonna get uh, another guest at the, from the city of Alpha while uh, there's another stringer is getting uh, trained there. Uh, looking at the era score, I do notice that Manoji is one point off. One point of getting his golden age well he's gonna discover currency and that's gonna be fun to get that golden age i'm pretty sure uh, having a technology from the classical era is gonna be fine here well he could have had horses but he did not well it's gonna take a while until he gets all of his barracks in and of course upgrades it looks like in the north gold did manage to take that hut and start moving on the coast towards the east side here is the sil silver settler worth it that's a very good question That is a very good question. And I would say for the build that right now Manuj is going for, it's probably worth it. It's probably worth it. Because to be honest, there wasn't another city that he could place quickly, right? In a good city. There really wasn't. Like you had this one on the coast and you just had the coastal settle. So you didn't have that much housing. You already wanted to build the Ikanda anyway. So I guess that's not really a matter. Uh, this one to the west side, not as much. And he wouldn't have had the, the science and the culture. And he's going to have pretty good tiles over here around it. You do see that he, well, he's going to go for a granary to try to get that extra housing going. That's very surprising. Honestly, I was expecting him to go Ikanda immediately. He, I don't think he wants to spend the gold and he doesn't have the gold to begin with to spend the gold to get a tile um a second ring or a third ring tile but anyway that's a plus six opidum also to the east of norwengu oh uh, sorry wow i said opidum what no never mind i was talking about i was uh, thinking about opidums but definitely not the correct nation not a good nation this is zulu no opidums for zulu Maybe if he gets them from the goal. <laughs> uh, also, shouldn't that be a thing, by the way? Really, shouldn't that be a thing in the games? Like, if you take over an opponent, why don't you have access to his cotons and its bonuses? Why, if you take out the sun, for example, it, it, comes, it becomes a barracks, you know, like uh, an encampment? Why? It should be original. It's a good opidum when gold takes the city. That's also true. That's also true. There we go. I was thinking in the future, man. Uh, he needed Terrascore. Otherwise, it's GG. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's uh, still 18 out of 19, but I'm pretty sure he's going to get that point from uh, discovering his um, currency in two turns. He's also getting state workforce in two turns. That's actually a pretty good uh, culture requirement here. And I do notice the lands in Nordwengu are starting to get a few more explosions from Krakatoa, getting more fertility. Look at, just look at the city, man. He's getting three signs just from Nordwengu. He's so happy right now. Anyway, getting a two-turn uh, campus here in Bulawayo. That's only going to be a plus three, but you know, you got to do what you gotta do next to a geothermal submarine forest here next to i do see uh, he went moksha in the capital city of uh, ulundi while he didn't actually activate the plus one uh, culture from moksha for per population i'm pretty sure he's um He's going to activate it soon when he's going to get that uh, next one, the state workforce, right? He does need the state workforce for the second government title. Uh, looking at the city-states, we do have uh, one with gold, one with faith, and one with uh, production. I do have to say this is going to be very valuable for uh, the opidums of gold here. And I do also want to say gold is looking like he's going Pingala Internals. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Well, we don't really see this this often, do we? Well, we do have Pingala establishing over there in the city of Alpha, just getting his um, um, body on the chair of Alpha. And we do have some archers also coming out from that city. The Opidums have finished. And of course, the extra production kicked in for Tans for Fish. is on 49 right now versus the 35 of Manushi. Definitely, that's a big bonus. That's a big bonus. And uh, I do notice he's going to need to get some more quarries over here while he's going to have quite a few strong chops. We do need to see when he's going to get his encampments if he's going to start uh, getting those projects for his um, Golden Ages. I, uh, for his uh, journals, I mean. In the city of Bravo, wait a second. When is this Opidum from? This is from Alpha. Okay, this is from Charlie. This is from Charlie. That's another plus four. And Bravo did not put down an Opidum. Okay, he must be keeping this for something else. Chat, any ideas? Why is he keeping Bravo without his second district slot locked? waiting for irrigation plus four on the rise oh he he put it okay he was waiting for gold okay he was waiting for gold never mind i mean i was thinking why would he do it you know like why would he do it then yeah but he wants uh, plus four on the rise would have been nice but he well first of all he needs irrigation second of all he definitely wants the food in the city of alpha uh, Pingala Eternals makes sense. Uh, you kind of can't get science any other way since you can't. Uh, you need encampments and opidums. Yes, and of course getting to the seventh population, and you do need some gold to get for your units. So you're not gonna get to full spam those uh, those um, districts. That's gonna be a problem. Yes, uh, we do need to see how Zulu is also gonna get to cover this problem with 90 science and 14 culture. Looks like uh, the science that he's getting from his wonders is pretty good. We do have him also with another two setters coming from Ulundi and Bulawayo. That is gonna be good here because goal is gonna get his uh, two turning of a settler anyway here and i'm pretty sure when he's gonna finish his full candles he's gonna be uh, his full opidums he's gonna be full of production he's already 55 man he's about to hit that uh, double double number of manuji 64 whew, and he's gonna pass him by we do have uh, zulu also hunting down the cats of fish what do we have against these cats what did these cats do to you? Man, you know what my cat did today? I was, I mean, she's in a, in another heat period. And uh, I mean, not gonna lie. It's the first time that I actually see a female cat just do all over the place. Do stuff all over the place. Um, but this time I was standing next to my PC talking with my mom on the phone. I was just moving around and you know, trying to uh, like have a converse conversation with my mom. I was actually even relating to her what happened like last night with the cat that she was like extraordinarily uh, vocal and stuff like that. You know, you know how cats are in heat. And um, right in front of me, bro, she peed on the chair. <laughs> she she was like peeing oh my god what bro no you didn't no you didn't what oh my god of course good good thing i have hankies uh, waiting around because you you need to she and like take that off immediately unbelievable anyway yeah yeah big experience yeah that's 
it is what it is you know it is what it is uh she's not spayed yet no why is she not spayed yet uh, because she well i didn't really want to do everything at once right i already took her to the vet for the leg and she still is recovering she still has like a probably like a three weeks two weeks three weeks of recovery so i don't really want to force the issue and i i had another female cat i'm usually of the opinion that you should let them like you should let them four or five years maybe they actually find a partner maybe they do have like a round of uh, um, a new generation of the same cat but the last one wasn't as vocal <laughs> Oh my god, man. This one is very vocal. Very vocal. Anyway, we do need to see what's going on here. Zulu did manage to get the military engineer. That means uh, he did manage to recruit Burikan. That's a general. And of course, Gold got Trung Trak here for permanently reducing his water readiness by 25. Not sure that's going to matter that much. Uh, we do have uh, Gold here also um, doing a project. I'm pretty sure he actually did a project. Yeah, he did do a project. And he's going to get another project. And we do have uh, Zulu by the looks of it in a heap of trouble. That scout from Gold did manage to pass through the forest and did manage to get on to the iron tile Ulundi is gonna finish his government plaza next and that also means he's not getting a unit to try to close the gap for this scout to not allow him to pillage that iron tile is gonna be taken out and that's gonna be extra gold that gold can invest into getting his archers you know, upgraded from the slingers you know, while uh, he's also running these projects by the way he's running them very quickly and that also gives him the chance to deny Zulu a general can you imagine the horror of being denied a general when you're a big Zulu and you already make the sacrifice of getting a military engineer? I think Zulu really needs to get on top of this because otherwise he's going to be a very sad panda. And we do need to see also how Manushi is going to deal with uh, the gay satis and the scouts that are coming out towards his territory. Looks like uh, he's going to get some archers out to deal with this uh, menace. And while I do know that that's for Fish is going to start um, to set up his city on the east side, he's going through the mountains. He's actually going through the mountains, and I guess that's fine, right? He's going to get another opidum here on the two grassland tile, and that uh, Gavron Plaza is going to be so good. It's good. It's good. The plus five opidum, it's good. Okay, well, more uh, upgrades. That is very bold settle. Yes, yes, that is a very bold settle indeed. Oh, man. It is what it is. Uh, if you get denied the general Zulu, you might as well CC quit the tournament. I don't get that far, but yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like, wow, that's like, is that even possible? Denying a general from Zulu? Wow. Uh, Mitchell, hello there, sir, and welcome. No more maps. no more maps. We uh, went through that phase. The players are also 1034 right here, so we can actually take a look at their uh, golden ages. Now we do have a penbrush and voice golden age on Tans for Fish. He's starting to get that extra culture from his uh, districts, and as you can see, he's on 18 science and 27 culture, while he is also on 58 points of production, getting his other general link. Oh my god, he gonna get it. There is no way Zulu is getting a general here. Yeah, there's no way. I mean, we know it is what it is. World of Throne also coming out in four tens from the city of Alpha. We do have um, some builders coming out from Zulu and the World of Throne from him also. Manuji did go for 22 science with 26 culture. I do see a pen brush and voice golden age activated. And I do notice he's uh, getting more Ikandas from his newly made cities here. Finally, did push back the Gallic units that were hitting the city of Unorwengu. And he's getting Magnus in the city of Bulawayo, not his capital which is kind of surprising but i think this magnus this magnus is not the magnus we used to no this is not the same magnus you know what this magnus is do you know this magnus guys have you met him hello there's papas good evening sir and welcome are there only two classical generals in duo maps no no there are four but i mean zulu gun one transformed it into a military engineer then uh, we did uh, have um goal pick three it's a chopper there we go ms doll knows it's a chopper <laughs> we do need to see how manush is going to try to get the chops going it looks like um he's a bit too late he was going for encampment training projects but yeah oh wait he did manage to do it wait he got it how did he get it what but i'm pretty sure he finished a what the 
he didn't do it or did he was this stands for fish delay? oh my god i think he actually delayed his um so he discovered the uh, civic or technology so and he increased the cost for the project that also put it from two turns finishing it two turns to three turns and that's why he didn't get it zulu got it wow just just because of one civic and one technology one oversight gave uh, zulu over here a general i mean machiavelli you know it is what it is uh fish didn't do anything special i mean he didn't get the he didn't get the project he finished the project too late he did do something special. he finished the project too late but yeah very good very good job over here with um with the military engineer a nice catch. I didn't notice there was a chop, but I didn't actually notice it was the military engineer who did it. It is what it is. Oh, wait. Is this? Oh, the fish and scout. He already moved. Well, it is what it is. We do have uh, Manuji sending his slingers to the west side. He's sending one of these spearmen to poke out the cats from his north. And uh, as you can see, he's still getting his world of strongly three turns. Got to five cities. Noluengu is still being uh, hit by that volcano. It seems like Krakatoa is getting more. Does it seem to you the same as it seems to me? Krakatoa is starting to get a bit more and more excited as these two nations clump up together. Let's see what are the yields at the end of the game from these styles. There are already three, four, two tools, guys, or four, three, three tools. I mean, that is exactly like that. What the cat is saying, that is a sexy city. That is amazing, man. Oh my, uh, yeah. What, what do we want more from it? Fish is protected. Uh, project worked as intended. No increase in general price took place. I see. Krakatoa is half of Zulu science. Yes, basically, basically. It's Manu. I think. We can say for sure with our hands on our hearts that Nordwengu actually paid. Yeah, it paid in full and then some. It was good. Uh, he was not in line. They both got the project, but Manuji is so, so he took the general. I see. Okay, okay. Machiavelli is uh, saying that it wasn't what I said. It was something else and the uh, goal did not make, uh, did finish the second project. Okay. Well, we do have Opidums coming out from Task for Fish. Of course, uh, it's uh, intended over here towards the southwest of Delta. He's going to get a lot of uh, influx of production in that city center. And I do notice that Manushi did manage to catch up in the production number 54 versus 56 of Task for Fish. Uh, well, we do have uh, the fish also starting to arm himself with some swordsman while he's going to get the granary here in the city of Bravo. He does need to send the trader somewhere. He does have a fifth and a sixth city going towards the north and the northwest. And I'm pretty sure he's going to want to get uh, needs another wonder to the north but very 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 late and that's probably gonna be his setup this this kind of looks like he's gonna be his setup six series setup over here on goal while on the other side we do have zulu on his two four five i would imagine he's gonna get another one out but he just didn't have time he's gonna use liang to protect his city of norwengu from the explosions of krakadoa and uh, well i guess uh, liang will have a very special umbrella which dedications did they take for the era? Penbrush and voice and penbrush and voice. Both of them, penbrush and voice. Yeah. And I do notice in the goal portal, neither of them are actually that happy, right? We got fish over here on 11. We got Manuji on 13. While the fish is going to get his mathematics coming up in 1. Then Manuji is going to still wait for his apprenticeship in 4. Uh, we do also have Pingala deployed in uh, the city of Alpha. That actually still doesn't put him at the same number as Manuji. But I got to ask, did he actually get the Pingala internals? Because this doesn't really smell like Pingala. No, they, they do. It, no, it does smell like Pingala internals. This is Pingala Internals, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think he would have had the science from anything else. He doesn't have a single campus, not a single tile that gives him science other than this iron tile, right? That's about it. He doesn't have these in the city of Delta yet improved. Anyway, uh, we do have uh, also hanging gardens coming out from Bulawayo. This is surprising that Manushi is going to want to get that hanging gardens uh, chopped with, of course, Magnus. It is good that he's chopping it with Magnus. I was just so excited to see the Magnus chopper here actually get a lot of units. Like, you know, like chop some knights, chop some uh, crossbows, choppy choppy. Like, let's see how this goes, you know. How do they go against the city of Delta? Are they going to play the Lambada? Is it going to be one of those Kukaraja? 
yes or uh, something else yeah he has uh, these two barracks so i'm also a bit confused yeah no drums of war he's taking it slow i mean you know this is this might be like in two and a half men if you guys know uh, the expression take it slow you know he, this might be it this might be alan taking it slow it is what it is we do have uh, Manuji here also uh, preparing his uh, stone chops uh, for something. I don't yet see him spending the production for hanging gardens, but we're going to need to see how this goes. Uh, code time also not Pingala internals, just Pingala second. Third the promotion not worth it for one trader this early. That is also true. That is also true, code time. I cannot disagree with this. Also, good evening, sir, and welcome. I do want to see how things evolve over here. I'm pretty sure he does have a decent amount of population to give him the science. And if you say it's ping just Pingala 1, uh, uh, 2, I mean, it would be, what, 6 science points, 7 science points, maybe with all of the boost. That's uh, basically what he's getting from the city of Alpha. And right now, he's on 12. Isn't that a bit more than what Pingala second would give him I have never heard anyone make a two and a half man reference unique wait really wow I know I'm pretty sure a lot of people made a two and a half reference not the bad two and a half by the way not the, not the last the series those I don't know how it actually survived after that change of a actor Bro. anyway uh, gold production hasn't increased much in a while so zulu caught up yes indeed that is true you now he did put more more and more production into these cities that also means an investment in time so gold is uh, gonna definitely get uh, more production points when he's gonna finish the new settlers series and it, their opidums the respective opidums while i do notice uh, task for fish is gonna go for uh, military uh, tactics here in eight turns he's also gonna get feudalism next turn i did notice he's starting to put the pre-builds going but but I say, I say, this is going to be, wait, is this going to be him? Okay, there we go. He's actually switching off. I was like, no, are you actually going to not switch away from the builders? That is very naughty. Like, why? Are you going to want to get three charge builders and then chop five charge builders? Might happen. <laughs> Uh, five from inhabitants, five from uh, Pingala, uh, plus fifteen uh, percent, five eleven uh, point signs. Uh, wait, 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 wait! You don't get five from point uh, five, right? You you get like you don't get a full point from uh, inhabitants. Uh, capital science doesn't change with Pingala internal. The city the trader was sent uh, from gets the science. Oh, right, Alex two thousand five makes a good point over here. The trader will actually in the science will show up on the city, so we can take a look at the cities. What's that trading to? What's this trading to? Let's see the trader Delta. Hmm, one that's not Pingala science. If this is true, Alex two thousand five, that's not Pingala science. That is not Pingala internal. Yeah um can they can can they can wait can they can can they can they okay uh, hello there sir and good evening the palace is giving three in alpha right uh-huh yeah probably uh okay so let's see we got an income training project coming off from bulawayo he's gonna get hannibal Barca over here on the west side but looks like he's uh, scrambling to get the trebuchet one he wants a third he really wants a third so he is planning to push we're just not uh, that push by the looks of it uh, we do have also the goal about to kill an account of zulu and it's very surprising that we actually have goal pushing zulu not zulu pushing uh, goal while we do of course see uh, some uh, the encampment training project finishing up next in bulawayo we do need to see how zulu is gonna get his uh, defenses up his ikanda in Wengu is down and that city is extremely valuable to him like look at this city man this is just full of candy this is better than the, ch the chocolate factory uh, you got it woohoo let's go okay now we do have um, more arches coming out from his capital and of course he's gonna want to repair his iron tile here looking at uh, stirrups in a few turns here in five turns i do have to say that as for fish is not only gonna have men at arms but he's also gonna have the ability to build those pikemen that are definitely gonna hold on uh, stirrups um uh, i will say a uh, knights over here from manuji we do need to see uh, when is he gonna get his cores and how many that's a problem how many cores is he gonna get uh, looking at manuji uh, pillaging his uh, tiles over here it looks like he's gonna send a defense in Ogumdundulovo with some uh, archers going around and he's also gonna have to find that Gesate with uh, some archer support from Delta while at the moment we don't actually have more units coming out from Gaul that's it 
We got these two lonely swordsmen that I think just... I, I think these guys had the itch, you know? Like, you know, that... It, you know, it happens. At some point, you just want to do something. And if there's nothing to do, there's, like, really nowhere to go. You just want to do something. So you do something stupid. You just go and attack your opponent. Bam, 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 bam. Well, I guess this time around, it worked. They actually got to Norwengu, and they managed to take down the Ikana. They caught those guys by surprise over there during, uh, in the middle of the night. They were, they were sleeping. All of them they were sleeping. Nobody knew anything. And, of course, uh, the Zulu horses are already arriving in uh, Norwengu, while uh, we do have some archer support, and uh, we do have some uh, generals over here also it does seem like these horses will have the ability to go for the swordsman over here try to cut them off so he can uh, take them down is he getting still no pingala internals okay that's just pingala and moksha okay he's getting moksha 42 culture we do have manushi on 31 signs with 42 culture of his own and they're starting to tick down the clock until the next era with uh, new builders coming around and of course all of these uh, popping out from uh, zulu series are going to be feudalism builders just like gold did manage to get his we do have uh, gold here putting down the statue of zeus which is going to give him the extra pro a lot of units first of all and the extra production towards those anti-cav units which is very valuable it does seem like uh, also gold is going to his production up of uh, just pure swordsman i mean you gotta get that purity in and what we do have uh, the kind of getting repaired here in the city of norwengo and uh, we do need to see when the uh, manush is going to start uh, pumping out some harder units still ups coming up in two tens he doesn't really have gold to spend so he can upgrade so i wouldn't really expect a lot of heavy chariots coming out from him to upgrade them into knights Looks like uh, Gold did manage to win uh, over a unit of uh, fish, of uh, sorry, of Zulu here. While it doesn't seem like Zulu can actually push against the swordsman, those are a bit too tough for him to handle. Now we do have the two generals just uh, trading here, staying there. Fish is gonna get his military tactics in three, and I do see him getting recorded history. He's chopping the food in the city of Alpha. Doesn't have housing. This is very bad, very bad, by the way. That he doesn't have housing, but I'm pretty sure he's. Uh, wait, is he on that right style to, to chop it? Because I'm pretty sure he can actually get to seven pop quite quickly, right? If he chops that right style with uh, the uh, marsh underneath it. We do have a seventh um, population here already in the city of Charlie, which I'm pretty sure well, we do need to wait for him to uh, select what kind of districts he's going to put down. We do have him with uh, one of these. Uh, oh, there we go. That's a theater square. That is a theater square. He wants to get it next to the Statue of Zeus uh, to make it a plus three, of course, with the help of the Ikanda and that encampment. While he's defending the east side from Zulu, we still don't have cores coming out from Zulu. A lot of archers are standing by and looking at Manuji with his 20 gold a turn, he will need to actually hold every little bit of uh, scrap of gold that he's gonna get to upgrade units and look at that we actually have a heavy chariot coming up from Olundi. i mean that is so much gold where is he gonna get the gold does he have like chops of gold or something you know, piles of gold uh, underneath well i guess he does have some main styles you know Lovu. and i do see that zulu is uh, getting hit over here in well, one of his spearmen was a bit i think this guy wanted to do the same as the guys from gold he actually took an example he heard the story but yeah he forgot to uh, tell a friend it is what it is he forgot to bring a friend he just checked delta and it was uh, plus one uh yeah yeah oh hey, wait it's plus three woo, woo. it is plus three did he i think this is the moment he activated is this the moment he activated chat Code time. Hunde Priester, is this the moment we have all been waiting for? The famous Governor Pingala opening on the goal. Activated. Is this the one? It's from Pop. Code time is saying no. Code time is saying no. It is from the population. Okay. And I'm guessing it's also from the iron tile, right? I'm pretty sure it's one, two. That's two points from the iron tile. That's not Pingala internals. There we go. 
Cold time says no, we need to listen. Uh, we do have uh, Manushi here also gathering his uh, strengths to get Oracle in Bulawayo. He, that's his second one that he's, he's trying to get. Desperately trying to get the second golden age, I assume. Uh, looking at his score here, he's 40 out of 40 and he does need 51. He just got the first score and he did not build a boat yet. So I would assume he might actually build a boat. Now we do have him uh, also six tenths away from actually getting uh, the golden age. He's scoring up another unit, an, an archer next to Gundun. Lovo and I gotta say goal is pushing him with the one single swordsman that's probably not gonna do that much damage but still he needs to be careful especially with heavy chariots coming around and especially with the fact that he doesn't have a lot of gold to play with he does need to be very careful which units is he gonna actually prioritize to upgrade and which units is he not well, it looks like goal is gonna get another city towards Yerevan not actually towards Bensingi de Bemaraha but towards that uh, rice style over there towards the north and that is a pretty pog uh, opidum, not bad. Plus four opidum over there turns into plus six. No, that's plus four. Uh, but still, still, man, this would have been a plus four also. Just uh, you know, settle the iron tile, get all of that science. Ooh, baby, look at that gold. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, we do have uh, him actually chopping that dry style and the march style in the city of Alpha. He's gonna get his campus out in two turns. And I do see, I guess, I think another one coming out from Delta. We're probably gonna see him needing to upgrade these with his gold. And that's another problem that's for Fish is gonna have. Doesn't have a lot of gold. We do have Charlie putting down uh, Etemenanki. And he already started putting down quite a few farms here. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna be very happy getting that extra science going. He did manage to recruit Isodor of Miletus and... Uh, whoa finished that statue of zeus immediately almost one turned over here i mean it was one tap you just didn't see the moves it was just one tap you know in a blink of an eye he got it uh good deny for shaka yes yes good deny but uh, can you imagine they didn't even go for this he didn't even think of going for this he just got oracle and, uh, hanging gardens and ignored them engineers yes the next one is emotep and looks like goal is probably gonna have this one as well with five five point seven points a turn i'm pretty sure he's gonna get there we do have in the scientist screen only zulu making points but he, i'm pretty sure also goal is gonna start making points after next turn with the campus finishing in the city of alpha that is an easy peasy plus four and of course uh, getting uh, the science is gonna help him uh, eat, tie over here manuji i mean, don't think there was that much of a difference in the total requirement it's only like 130 points or so uh, difference between them while we do need to see if that's actually going to amount to an advantage we do have them making basically the same amount of culture between them uh, looking at the era score here i'm pretty sure but, um, that's for fish wait a second oh fish is scrambling fish is scrambling and to be honest this i think this would have been quite a valuable prediction is fish gonna get this or not i feel like fish should get a religion and get their meditation it would help a lot how many amenities does he have? Probably not many, right? He's on zero. Yeah. Yeah, would definitely help a lot. You were talking about also Toa at the beginning, but yeah, he didn't go for it. They did not go for it, even though it was a pretty good one. It looks like Apadana is going to be his choice in the city of Alpha. He does have a builder on this uh, deer tile, but he doesn't want to take the chance of uh, missing that wonder, missing those extra era score points. He's on 55 out of 63, and by the looks of it, he's actually going to get this quite quickly. Uh, still in the Classical Republic, he did manage to get uh, the work done on Great Bath in three turns. Also, at the Menanke, two turns in the city of Charlie. Wait, did he just chop a sheep tile for extra food? Oh my god, he's getting all of the population he can get. Impro uh, improving one of his um, swordsmen into a minute times. This is going to cost him 35 a pop here. And uh, by the looks of it, well, we do have Zulu with strong enough horses to withstand a few hits from these. We're going to need to see when they're going to be close to each other, what's going to happen. I'm pretty sure Zulu with his core ability should be uh, having enough strength to um, push back. Mm. 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 gold is a problem like these um, uh, archer cords are gonna cost a lot 
But anyway, I guess we'll see. We do have a road being created. The military engineer is being put to work between Ulundi, Bulawayo and the city's uh, Falfa over here of Gaul. We do have the military engineer starting to uh, get that work done. And while I do, uh, while I do see Ethelfred is showing up on the front line, that is a free trebuchet whenever he's going to choose to get it. Now, I don't see him uh, building. Oh, he was a bit, uh, I guess he hesitated over there. And the archer did manage to move back on the city of Delta. Tervana has also been settled to the north, where there is uh, one of these warriors from Yerevan popping into that border and trying to see, hello, what's up? Etemenaki got finished in the city of uh, Chali, and yes, we do have the extra production and these uh, extra points of science on all of these tiles. Very nice, I would say I would prove the city of Chali. It took a while, but it actually got to our hearts. It would help with gold and force Zulu to uh, match religion. Hey, Torburn, thank you so much for the raids uh, and welcome everybody. We're, uh, we, uh, we're watching a 1v1 going on in Civ 6. This is played by two very, very good players. Well-known players in the Civ 6 community, especially in the international one. Manuji on one side playing Zulu, while on the other side we do have the gold. And slowly they're trying to inch forward towards each other, trying to see how and where the chink in the armor is. Welcome everybody, and we do need to keep on watching to see how uh, the uh, evolution of the game is going to be. Yeah, uh, he's a one short at the Manaki is only worth three points since it's an era before. Well, he did manage to get 64-63. Well, I do see Manushi did also get the 51-51. Both of them are gonna secure their golden ages. And it looks like wonders were the ones that got them. Uh, new builders also coming around here from uh, Zulu. We do have the first knight appearing on the scene and it doesn't seem like he's going to have enough uh, damage to uh, take out his opponents with just a simple knight. He's going to need the cords and he's going to need a lot more of them. I'm not. I'm also thinking uh, crossbowman cords over here are going to be a requirement. Uh, if he's going to be, well, if he's going to have enough units to go for this. Oh, Zulu, Zulu, Zulu. Looks like uh, the Ikanda is in danger again. And I'm pretty sure Manuji is uh, going to need to do something about this. Machinery is also is only coming out in two turns. And that would have definitely been very, very valuable right now to have a crossbow on core. Uh, with the ability to deal enough damage against those, these men at arms. The men at arms right now, they just don't care. They, they just really don't care about the shots of Archer course. You know, like it is what it is. It is like... It's basically, you're talking about... How is that guy called in uh, Transformers? Like the big guy? How is that? Not Bumblebee, not the, not the yellow one. How is the other guy called? It's basically that guy, the big guy, the big hero. You know, being shot by little ants. And you know, pew, 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 Like it's not even scratching. Optimus Prime. Yeah, it's basically like he's fighting Optimus Prime over there. You know, like there's not even, a, it's not even a fair fight. It's like humans attacking Optimus Prime. What are they going to do? Like scratch him with bullets? With little lead points? Oh, let me tell, look at my little gun over here. And it starts to transform that whole hand over there. And it starts spinning energy and stuff like that. And you're like, no. Stop. Stop. I only got this lead. This lead is very good. Very good. I get, I trade it for my life. <laughs> yeah there we go an archer core is a lot of arrows but it doesn't mean uh, much to a guy with good armor exactly right but we do have i gotta say even in this situation we do have zulu over here trying to push through and it looks like god is saying what you come into my house drink my coca-cola from the fridge and you don't leave anything i mean come on bro not even a tissue not even that well it looks like manuji got pushed out from that um in Gammon in the city of Delta and looks like uh, we do have uh, walls going up in the city of Delta as well. A bit surprising that he's spending the production on walls. Is he actually doing this because he doesn't want to be as aggressive as we think he will be? Or is he doing this to actually be aggressive as uh, we want him to be? <laughs> well, we do need to see how, which one of those will be. I do have to say that uh, Fish over here could actually double step on the Archer Core if he wants to. With uh, the Man at Arm, he could just get very close up in person and tap that on the back. And uh, of course, push it back from that uh, forward line. He could even uh, go against that, that horse afterwards. Well, not really actually, no. The horse is unbeatable. This is an unbeatable horse. Can you imagine this minute arms is actually dying, attacking into a horseman core? Wow. That's a 65 defense strength horse. Oof. 
baby, those muscles. Um, now, why do they go for civil service? Do they already have uh, mercenaries? Yes, they do already have mercenaries. Both of them have mercenaries, and I'm pretty sure civil service is more a stepping stone towards uh, monarchy than anything else, like towards divine right. And so many units from the fish, uh, and he is out seeming this, this duel seems over. Ooh, apocalyptic predictions over here happening in chat. We do have Zulu getting a scout in, trying to see what's going on in the Fishian land. While in the eel stab, Fish's economy is starting to buckle. We do have him on minus 3 gold a turn, 135 production. Looks like Manuji managed to keep up in the science, in the culture, and in the production screen. That is not a big difference. The city of Delta did chop the walls, and it looks like, of course, it nullified the advantage that uh, Zulu's uh, knights might have had over his units. While we do have these amount of times able to withstand multiple hits from the knights of zulu we only have a single knight of zulu so multiple hits is probably not gonna happen uh, we do have uh, manuji also with quite a few builders still able to chop and improve his land we do need to see what is he gonna choose to go for oh i think he found a way crossbow on course coming in getting hard built while a task for fish is trying to punch his way towards the general of his opponent wait wasn't that was that the general? Oh, that was Hannibal Barca, right? It wasn't... Oh my god, he lost a military engineer also. Oh, was that a military engineer or was, was that the general? Oh, did ERA change already? Did they get golden? Do they have dedications? Yes, 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 yes. No. I mean, they have pen brush and voice right now on Ambiorix and it looks like Manuji. No, he did not get one. <gasps> Can you imagine? I actually, actually didn't know. Uh, anyway, we got a we got a quick uh, thing over here happening. Let me actually put profit in. You know, we got the. Let's go for um, culture, science, science, science. Uh, hello, sir. I go B. Uh, what was the science? What did I say? Wait. Uh, profit science. Okay. Profit science. You. There we go. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Fish looks like he got a man at arms right between his opponent. Manuji uh, still scrambling to get his units out. Three turns to get uh, one of these crossbow on course is going to take a while. And uh, we do need to see how much Fish can actually make uh, headway against Zulu here, especially with quite a few units coming in. Not upgraded though. These spearmen are uh, not uh, taking their pikemen choices. While uh, yes, we do have new units uh, getting upgraded, uh, getting uh, pumped out of the Gallic uh, series. We just don't have him with the strongest enough economy 10 gold a turn that's it well first one the first crop one court did come out today and it looks like he will be able to do the damage against these units of gold we do have uh, them moving up and did manage to take down another unit there of zulu you know while uh, i do notice uh, that uh zulu is starting to recover his units here getting his uh, night core from uh, the from the offense against delta i'm actually quite curious if we're gonna see task for fish move forward are we gonna see him actually try to take out the knight? He might actually be able to take out that knight, isn't he? At the cost, of the grave cost of the men at arms strength, but you know, he could take it down. Anyway, we do have another knight core coming in from Dundun Lovo. These units are very crazy, even against the Gallic men at arms, while we do need to see uh, when they're gonna get next to their um, generals and where are they gonna go. He definitely needs a lot more crossbow and cores to deal with all of the units of Gaul. And while in the meantime, we do have also um, to take a look at their science and their next upcoming districts with Alpha finishing up his uh, campus. We do, we did have a theater square here in the city of Charlie. While he did manage to get the Temenaki for the extra science, it looks like they're mirroring each other extremely well when it comes to the science and the culture. 42, 39, 61, 63. Production difference is not that big. Yes, Zulu has an extra 
over there but it doesn't uh, seem like it's gonna be that much uh, we do need to see also how Manushi is gonna get to use his last chops here he definitely has quite a few more forests to get going and it looks like the target will be night course uh, so he can actually push back against goal and even maybe 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 push him to his uh push him into his senses here uh, we do have uh, Zulu also needing to uh, move that archer core somewhere looks like he's gonna shift enter it in the Ikanda while uh, his corresponding core is starting to move on to the front line he just lost another one of those um well i guess it's fine he traded the horse for an, an, uh, one of these men at arms it's fine another crossbow core i think he should be fine looks like manuji over here is going to be fine for quite a while uh, that's for fish will need uh, something much stronger to actually go against his opponent and it does seem like uh, he's going to need a lot more science to get there manuji on the other hand we do need to see how quickly he's going to manage to actually uh, get uh, some more points here we do have him on, with four great uh, scientist points at 10 i don't see him with another campus but i do see baba nango has its fourth population why is he not putting down a district over there why is he waiting in baba nango that's so important he doesn't want to lock in a plus two uh, campus over here or he doesn't want a campus he doesn't want he does want to get some gold he's on 19 gold a turn right now uh yes that's not that big but his production is fine you also recruited both uh, Wonder Generals already, so maybe it doesn't matter that much anymore. Yeah, oh sorry for whatever reason, my mind went to military engineers instead of great engineers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, he did have uh, one military engineer that he did convert from a general, but I think he lost it at some point. He, he was building the pathway here, uh, the road here, and he just got stopped by the goal. He was like, definitely, you know, annoyed by it. And we do have uh, Test for Fish also starting to move a little bit forward his men at arms. Let's actually see if he's going to manage to two tap that Archer core. I'm pretty sure he's wary about uh, the counter attack that might happen from Zulu with two Night Cores. This is dangerous territory. These could could take out the men at arms double shot up and we do also need to see if manush is gonna move forward with his uh crossbow and core over these hills this is stopping him from actually having the vision on the west side and even also the clear uh, sight you know, to uh, get there now looking at the east okay night uh, another night core another night core two more night cores coming in not when uh, did manage to actually get one of these heavy chariot cores and i do notice uh, in the city of Umgundulovus, he still has the main stars to actually chop and get more more gold quickly so he can upgrade if he could upgrade actually it would be it would be terrible for task for fish with uh, like four or five of these across uh, cores starting to eat away at your units every turn that's not gonna be funny these uh, these especially if they do manage to get like level ones level two promotions these are gonna be deadly and uh, task for fish is gonna take a while until he's gonna manage to get his own nationalism his own stronger unit and so on and so forth it's good thing that he did manage to plug in victor in, in the city of delta so he can get another plus three uh, from that defense and i don't see it activated though he did not spend um, the governor title on victors no no he just got the victor for the extra walls and that's it the extra combat strength here he doesn't have the garrison commander for the extra plus three we do have another trader coming around here from Manushi, and I do see he's gonna get uh, monuments out from Gumdundunlovu. While he still has quite a few chops, looks like uh, army is the priority right now. Going for printing in five, uh, guilds coming up in three, intelligence agency in alpha. While we did not have a specializing building of choice here in Manushi's territory, he did switch to monarchy. While uh, Test for Fish did go for his own monarchy as well. wow if uh if zulu would, o would only just move a little bit over here or just just you know take a peek take a peek over here take a sneak peek between the forest see what's going on uh what happened in congress that is what we were discussing let's see great engineers double points uh, scientific city states 100 percent, and it looks like a uh, toilet did manage to get two diplo points Yep, toilet got a diplo points. It is what it is. I don't know how. Oh, kick. What? Hmm. 
Did the Diplo points just get... How do you call it? Um, slot order? Did they just get slot order? <laughs> Kick W, man. No, I mean, I wouldn't really say that uh, Zul is gonna go for a Diplo victory. Don't get me wrong. He's probably gonna be looking for another type of victory. But it still would have been funny. Anyway, uh, we do have um, the crossbow and cords of Zulu starting to inch closer to a uh, goal here. And uh, they're gonna start shooting quite quickly. It's not gonna be the same lead of uh, the archers. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be heavier, tougher lead over here going against these units of goal. And we do uh, have uh, already the attack going and it looks like a one one of these uh, men at arms have, has been taken down while Zulu does have more units coming in and another night core from Ungundunulovo. We're going to need to see if he's going to get the goal to upgrade this uh, level 2 archer. Ooh, baby, level 2 crossbow and core with a general. Oh, don't mind if I do. We're going to need to see if Manuji, there we go, 148. Oh, immediately task for fish nose, man. He's like, you ain't touching that, bro. You, you ain't touching that. I mean, you know, I'm going to go as far as to sacrifice my own units to deny you the level 2 archer going into a crossbow. And yeah, I think that's a very, very powerful deny. I'm pretty sure that would have just been dead. And it looks like one of his knights uh, also got taken out while Gol is going to manage to uh, keep alive his uh, man at arm over here. I'm actually quite curious. Is that going to be the strategy? I think that man at arm is going to survive, right? Is it? I think it's gonna survive. He's gonna get another. Check this out. He's gonna get hit once, and he's gonna get a promotion. He only needs one single point of experience, and poof, magical healing happens. Just imagine getting a promotion. Imagine this happening on the street. You see some guy just promoting, or a girl pro just promoting itself over there, and poof, new skin, new everything, new textures, new clothes, new glasses. Whoa! Yay! Level seventy-eight. <laughs> anyway. Uh, doubling uh, points seems pretty good for goal. Yeah, that is that is definitely doubling good doubling points. I don't think it's a good use of that word though. I think that word definitely means something else. Yeah, uh, doubling the great engineer points. Yes, yes. Uh, don't they have to relobby? Uh, no, no, I don't think so. I don't think they care that much. Uh, on the street, getting shot levels you up. <laughs> I mean, you know, it is what it is. It is it depends how you look at it, right? <laughs> oh my god. I mean, you're still going up somehow. It is what it is, you know? Well, there's still quite a bit of um, going against each other happening here between Ugnulov and Delta. It does seem like uh, Zulu is managing to lose quite a few units uh, to uh, goal and the counterattacks uh, from the Gallic Nation from the Maritimes uh, do seem quite strong over here against uh, even the Night Corps of Zulu. You know, we do have him uh, doing, uh, well, he was doing significant damage. Did something happen here that his Maritime is not that strong? No? Okay. Kick W. Then what is this knight? Plus six support bonus. Interesting, interesting. Well, the last one actually died very, very quickly. That's why I'm, I'm so surprised about this. Uh, Manuji does have 233 gold in the bank. And this is a bit surprising. What is he waiting to use it on? I would have thought that he's going to try to put the gold into his archers. Try to put the gold into his heavy chariots. But no, he's actually having another plan in his mind. And we do need to wait for it to be revealed. Now, it does seem like also Zulu is going to have the opportunity to take out this man arm well he didn't want to step on it and pushed it back to his uh, city of uh, delta you know while i do notice uh, to the southwest these uh, gallic experiment did not get it upgraded task for fish did manage to start to get quite a bit of gold per turn not only that but he also does manage to get more science and more culture than his uh, opponent here 56 versus 40 76 69 you know, i do uh, notice he did manage to also get oh he gonna get the colosseum um Carlos Roder, sir, he finished printing. Thank you. Thank you. I wasn't sure if no, he didn't. He didn't. He not yet finished printing. I wasn't sure if he finished, but it looks like he didn't. 
Okay, we got the uh, Zulu over here managing to take out the mana time. Another one might actually be taking out this turn. Uh, this upcoming turn, we're going to see if he has the strength to take two down. I'm pretty sure there will be some form of a counter attack here. No, it's fish moving away, retreating that mana time at the dawn of day and actually getting safely back in the city of Delta. We do have uh, new crossbows coming in, and still he did not want to get the Archer core upgraded. I mean, you know, it's expensive. I know 250 gold. That is. Uh, basically an arm and a knee there but really you got you need it right you need it you know that's for fishy looks like he's uh, still putting the extra production in the city of bravo i mean this city would have worked so nicely with magnus he had so many chokes but still the extra culture from moksha man invaluable have you seen his timing on monarchy mm. Oh, God, I'm here. Oh, beautiful, amazing. Manuji is really strong but he seems worse so no real uh, choice but to push and push now you gotta go you gotta go when you gotta go and i'm actually quite happy that finally wanuji is actually f seeing the light well he didn't really have the vision but nor did he poke around the forest i gotta say man he, he had to poke all all of the chokes he really had to poke all of the chokes here to see where is task for fish weak and where is he strong right i mean it is what it is we do have a zulu with the crossbow on course with enough damage to eat through these uh, spearmen and the pipemen very very easy it doesn't seem like gold is going to have uh, that much of a chance to counter attack in the south while he's going to need to put more of these pipemen into production these are wait I was thinking if there are any worse units than the pikemen to defend the crossbowman core attack. Are there siege units? I guess siege units would be worse, right? Siege units would be worse. Uh, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Yes. Uh, on the string, yes. <laughs> you see yeah, it is what it is man anyway uh, we do have uh, zulu 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 getting catapults okay i do see crossbow on course also more of them coming out and he still did not put the gold where his uh, mouth is we do have him uh, still need needing to do the attack start the attack over the units of gold and i do notice uh, his um, units are not taking as much damage as you think from a normal crossbow off the goal yes that's not actually next to a general but still that is a significantly lower damage than what Zulu can output with these crossbow on cores. The level 2s can one shot this uh, Gallic crossbow. Uh, we don't need to see what Manuji is going to choose to do. Uh, he would have had a wonderful chance to actually take out uh, some Gallic units here. Even right now, he still has a chance to take out uh, at least one of them, if not two of them. Kind of depends on exactly how he's going to move over here. Uh, he cannot double tap this. Oh, is he going to be fully focused on the city of Delta? He sees he poked through the forest he sees finally he sees that um man that uh spearman did not have a choice he just died you know we do have another crossbow that uh, still needs to move and i would imagine he's actually going to want to move it towards the south he just found a weakness in task for fish's army i do have to point out these are one tile chokes and no, two tile chokes and i'm pretty sure we do have uh, fish with enough production to try to get some more units out and put them on to plug the chokes we do have uh, zulu just getting up more and more heavier and heavier on army while uh, it looks like fish did slow down a bit he did not want to uh, get this attack going he just wanted to defend himself and it looks like zulu is tearing apart his uh, defenses we do have uh, the trebuchet also upgraded from um, um what is was this ethel fled was it ethel fled i always mix this up especially the new ones oh that was ethel fled okay i didn't mix it up oh okay uh, more crossbow cores another uh, forest is gonna get chopped and i really want to see how many of these units are gonna die here by the way colosseum coming out this turn emotep is there saving the city of um wow wow that actually remained alive i cannot believe that actually remained alive uh, never mind it died but anyway you've seen how many attacks happened there so yeah anyway in the south it looks like uh, the gallic uh, pikemen are going to take quite a bit of a beating over here yes spearmen are being put onto the front line while fish is trying to get his own printing manuji beat him to the plus three we do have uh, the colosseum being pumped out in four tens if not actually activated with the great engineer here mr emotep 
Now it looks like also Manuji pumping out quite a few units. He's uh, starting to get the upgrade strong enough to withstand multiple hits and do multiple hits. He's getting the experience points rolling, and it does seem like these crossbow on course when they're gonna get the level twos going. I mean, I don't know where the pie men are gonna hide. We got the spy just chilling in the city of Ulundi. Uh, Anel, Anel doesn't want to move. I mean, you know, it is what it is. It's not the time or the place to just talk about spy stuff over here. You need to feel it. You need to be in the mood. You need to be in the zone. Have you heard this before? I think you've heard this before quite a few times, right? You need to be in the zone to do that, man. Well, not really related to spying, but I know it. I know you know what I mean. Uh, who holds what CS? Uh, the three CS in the game. Yerevan, Task for Fish, Task for Fish, and Task for Fish. I think we got a fishian... Uh, problem here we really have a fish and problem yeah fish fish and fish nor tortoise uh, sag yes exactly i would rather defend with trebuchets than pikemen against crossbows even <laughs> okay yeah i mean you're not wrong man you're, you're not wrong yeah yeah um, i guess it is what it is we're going to need to see i'm pretty sure uh, that's for fish was uh thinking of pikemen to hold the night course but this you know the crossbow and course are just the problem the icing on the cake over here for manuji and uh, we do have also zulu managing to get that uh, upgrade on the crossbow he's gonna have uh, three more crossbows to come uh, bearing their shots against his opponent while uh, in the north he's actually losing quite a few uh, units here looks like uh, gold did manage to move out his pikemen right from uh, danger zone there <clears throat> that's fine his south is still exposed and uh, we do need to see if the fish is going to manage to uh, get these units out in time while he did want to uh, the colosseum we do have him uh, getting quite a bit of a bump over here in culture 69 science with 91 culture managing to uh, do another wave of attacks against uh, goal and did lose one of his knights that is a problem he doesn't have these that many of these nor did he build that many of these right he more went for crossbows than actually getting uh, the knights and the majority of them are deployed where gold actually has stronger units what is he doing with the gold he's 86 ago okay he's he just probably used that for um, a little bit of time babanango did go for a commercial okay so he was keeping he was keeping that slot for a long time to get a commercial from there that that is a long time that is a long time i was expecting him to maybe put it down before but no he actually waited so many turns he got like four units four court units up before uh, he actually put down the commercial um fish 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 uh wait what is that emote over there anel anel yes i don't know if that, i don't know who anel from that twitch emote is i have no idea Anyway, we got some heavy chairs coming up from Umgumdunulovu. Pingala is establishing Bulawayo. And of course, you do see that Manuji has been uh, lower in science than his opponent for some time now. I do see that the district, the Inkyama district in the city of Delta is actually taken down by Trebuchet. And it does seem like Zulu is going to push through. Uh, at least that Inkyama tile. Because the other tiles, I find it quite unlikely that he's actually going to keep on pushing through. Maybe in the south, we do have uh, still Zulu with uh, the stronger units here, the crossbow on course, which are gonna do the damage they're taking down the crossbows and the pikemen of his opponent just dealing the damage here like there's no other that's for fish trying to run away with that pikeman and of course is getting the walls in the city of charlie did manage to recruit james of saint george which is uh, the wall engineer as we like to call it uh it is the guy that will give him 150 strength walls which is going to be very valuable medieval strength walls over here against uh, his opponent zulu well in the meantime just uh, pumping out enough units to keep uh, replacing them with the ones that he's losing looks like uh, zulu still is trying to uh, get on top of his opponent here slowly but surely uh losing a lot of his units i gotta say he slowly lose lost a lot of his units here okay heavy chariots more knights in Kiamon training project coming up from Ulundi, he's getting that commercial in three turns. A lot of science is going to need to come out, but it's going to be late. That's for fish uh, is uh, well on his way towards getting ballistics. And if I would imagine if Gold gets ballistics significantly faster than Manuji, that's probably when the game will be over, right? Ballistics, fill cannons, just <laughs> shooting out over there from the forest line. I don't know if anybody can actually watch that happening in real life. 
Ooh, don't know about that. Yeah, good thing he lost some units, so now he is uh, not negative anymore. Uh, fish? Oh, you're talking about Manuji? Yeah, he's on zero. He definitely needs the, to get the gold. Definitely needs to get the gold. But the production right now on Task for Fish is 167, significantly bigger than 122 of Manuji. And with almost the double the number of uh, points of science, not to mention higher culture, we do have the fish with a strong advantage going into the next part of the game. They do have at least, what, 10 more tents, 12 more tents, probably 12. 30 more turns until the next world congress when we do need to see how things will shape up over here what kind of resolutions they're gonna have they're probably gonna try to get that uh, dark age and the big question is uh, what kind of era score they're gonna have well looks like uh, task for fish is well on his way to get his golden age and while i do notice is uh, he keeps on the pressure against zulu he's taking out these units that are pushing into him and uh, it does seem like even if zulu will have some units counter attack to counter Counter attack here he's definitely not gonna have the same um impact on goal as goal had on his own units okay we got cross uh, they're not moving they're not moving man and these guys not moving not moving they don't have the only way these guys can move like efficiently uh would be with a uh, swordsman course or uh, swordsman course a uh, knight course in the mid in the front or something strong like even impies would actually do well here and this is why they couldn't move because they die the second they actually get into the range of the walls and um, being able to be shot by multiple crossbows they just die they're uh, way too squishy even if they're cored up and maybe units don't do as much as you think against them they're very squishy very squishy printing sneaky horse on top wait where did you see a sneaky horse Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. We got Task for Fish over here. Oh, he's getting that uh, finger into the minds of his opponent. I don't know, man. I don't know. What is he going to try to get out of there? Is he going to try to get the gold? And that's a GG. Manushi says, okay. Zulu. Almost got no general at the beginning. I lost my military engineer. You got the gold. You got the units. My attack. The biggest attack over here could not work. That's for fish. You have won the duel. The Royal Rumble. We're going to need to see how things will develop over here. I got to say. And I got to... Um, um you ensure our people i gotta excuse myself because there's no other way to say it uh, that i didn't get the score sheet today i didn't need to uh, keep on updating the civ 6 world cup uh, which is uh, probably going to be my focus for the next few months over here so we can get all of that information for you guys over there to see it to display it to see the scores to see the games to uh take part of all of this uh amazingness that is going to happen in the next uh, three months imagine we got the best players showing up in the same tournament showing up uh, from all over the world uh, trying to get uh, head to head against each other in the best games possible that we could have right now in the competitive season of CF6. So definitely check out CF6WorldCup.com. Uh, also, Manuji and Task for Fish are going to be playing. Oh, let's see how that's going to go. We, I don't want to uh, ask them a few questions. Just give me a second so I can actually switch the channel and uh, get in there. Uh, this and this. And then this. And done. Yeah. Yeah, GG, guys. GG, Wait, well played. Uh, how how uh, how just did my war moves uh, look? Uh -huh. Hard to tell on the cast is just like shots and promos. It's it's a lot easier for you guys to judge, but uh, yeah, it's tough. Fish had a good line, good encampment, like Statue of Zeus, Oli Legacy. It's hard to push into it, would it? Yeah, I should have moved more units from the top top right. the um, fight on the generals were, was interesting actually i was quite thinking if that's for fish is gonna get to deny all of the generals from zulu i was like what <laughs> yeah we did um, we did see that yeah yeah i only did that because i saw that engineer. you the engineer yeah so maybe i could deny but mm. i he used the, he used the engineer to chop that general though yeah yeah oh, did he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that, I, that was pretty cool i actually for yeah deny me so i was like uh I should not let that happen. <laughs> yeah, that would have been pretty funny. If the but, the I mean, gets denied by the girl. I think this wonder is a bit too bullshit here. What I got. Yeah, look at those stats. Um, but yeah, it, does make up, it does make up for my spawn. I think because yeah. uh, you get all the first meets and uh, you have more more room. Like uh, I have to 
try to kill you or you can just back settle behind mountains and freeze them and then I'm lost. You found the white city state first though. Yeah, I know, I shifted for it. I yes, found yes, that was... ah. Yeah, I saw that. You guys were both one turn off meeting, meeting it, and then you shift into that Meninju, the first meter. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nice. That is sweaty, but I mean, it's also fair, because Fish was right next to it as well, and he just... It uh, looks like you guys moved at the same time. You must have just moved, like, a split second, because I think Fish also first moved to try and meet it. Yeah, I, yeah, I wasn't actually centering. Not... Yeah, exactly. But you were... Host. Mm, I yeah, don't, I don't both... know how that works. But, uh... You know the interaction if you both shift enter though, the turn basically skips because, you know, you both end, end your turn. That I happened, queued. yeah. I, I queued. Yeah, yeah I yeah. Uh, queued. I, I was delayed one turn on settling, but at least I got the tile that I wanted. Um... Yeah, I forgot to shift enter my scout. I was really salty about that one. I could have blocked your settler and I forgot mm -hmm. to shift enter the scout. I was really worried that you would because if you if you did, you'd win it, right? Because uh... I, I host... Um, decides who wins the shift enter hmm. yeah i don't know I, I i with this timer and stuff then i have like okay i'm gonna do this last second i'm gonna do this last second and then i forget you know yeah <laughs> I could feel, there, was a few, there was a few things with the timer like we could watch it's so easy as a spectator to see the timer influencing but like there was one time i knew your spy was not established for listening no, to us it or... was for good, so, uh, two, uh, two times and then i yep. uh, yeah exactly yeah, and also Emotep was on Colosseum for a turn that you forgot or you delayed it, but I think you forgot. Oh, my Colosseum? Yeah, yep. the Emotep. I thought you should yeah. pop it at one turn away. I, just a timer thing, I assume, yeah. It, it was, yeah, because it's just yeah. like Nuji said, like, okay, I'll, I'll do this last second um, because maybe he's going for it, right? And then I forgot to do it because there's all the war moves I had to focus yeah. on. <laughs> so yeah, I should have just popped it in the, immediately, but... Oh, well. Yeah, it's so easy to see as a spectator, like, as I was saying, like, um, you can point out, like, what they're forgetting to do, like, the spies being activated, or just, like, yeah, just little things like that, but obviously as a player, and you got, like, 10 war moves at the start and the end of the turn, it's yeah. not as, you know, you can't focus on everything, but overall, it's pretty good. I like the, um, Edamanaki and stuff. One thing me and Access were talking about is, how come the Colosseum was one tile down, like, instead of one tile up? Because if it was one tile up, it would touch the... Um, so it was going to make a super theater for the capital, but then again, yep. I didn't really think, <laughs> um, yep. I probably, cause I could have gotten get the plus book. six yeah. on the builder where it's standing now. Yeah. Okay. So, so yes, yeah. access is right. Um, yeah. The other thing is you could also do a super theater from Foxtrot where the builder is. Uh, okay. Oh, that's true. So I did. Okay. Yeah. yeah this is fine yeah. because Foxtrot also gets a theater, but then when Delta I get seven foot, yeah. Yeah, when it gets seven. Yeah, that's fine then. This is okay, but I think it's slightly better to move it up still. Yeah, but as we we're talking, as we we're talking about, you don't have like a minute. It's not like FFA where you have a minute to think about like counting the tiles to all the cities. Yeah. Yeah, but overall it was pretty good. I like the Edamanaki and. I mean, yeah, I was very lucky with the horses. Like, uh, it was really fortunate. Um, really fortunate position, right? Like, I probably could have made a better open up in Bravo, but I was thinking. Um, I needed the production on the, but I don't know. I uh, probably could have optimized that better too. Yep, I think yeah, there was an optimum here on the rice, but we kind of maybe decided that you wanted the four food tile because this city of Bravo was very light on food. It was all plains hills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that got Bravo higher pop. I was wondering but... if you were gonna do MP push, but then I guess you would never do that against Gaul. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah was... I was I was gonna do night push, but I I mean I was I thought I had a lot of iron, but it actually went up pretty fast, so I did a shit ton of crossbows as well. Yeah. Were you yeah, one with stone and wait, did you go drums of war? No, no. That's uh, that's I think the mistake. But I I was like I I was already like two turning knights, uh, of course ah. with chops or one. Uh, so I was like. I have enough production, but I should have maybe chosen it uh, for other stuff. I never actually revealed your government plaza, so I didn't know when you were going to get your spy. And I think you beat me to it for a few by a few turns. Or I think I had, I had, yeah, I had printing on you, and I mean also the spy. I, uh, I forgot to establish it for like two turns. And uh, I think, yeah. I think Fish, you had into agency one or two turns before, but I think Manuji made, yeah, he said he delayed sending the spy, but he did go printing. So he went printing while you went. Um, 
universities. And so he yeah, had the printing yeah. on you is what you probably saw. Yeah, I was thinking like I'd actually boost the printing. Yeah, I, only like yeah three, three turns. Okay, three turns. Also, I feel like your luxes were a bit rough because the silver on the map we talked about on the cast, the silver is very hard to... Like, you had to settle Turvana all the way up there for silver. And I got to settle on it. No, no one there. Yeah, also your city state, Yerevan, or whoever had Yerevan had the uh, silver. That was me at the end. I, I had, I think I had all three. Yeah, where did you get down. all those envoys from? Ha, so, hello. I <laughs> guess I first met the other two and I did quests for them. I it yep. didn't end to money. Like I didn't yeah, actually okay. use any envoys for them. Every yeah. single quest for me was trader one, so I was like uh, pissed about it. Yeah, so mine were irrigation was boost. <laughs> yep. I was lucky uh, enough. Also, yeah, Apadana gives one as but well. That Udo, was the one, you, yeah. yeah, there's Diplo Quarter and Manuji, so that's an envoy for him as well. But yeah, by the way, nice I control. I remapped because uh, you first mapped uh, Zanzibar. And you, if you get Amani first meet, you have it for sure. Like you go and then it's too broken, I think. That was the That's plan. That was so the plan. Damn. I remapped because you first met the wonder. Dude, the, I mean, I that had the one that one. was perfect for him. I was like, what the hell? This guy yeah. has like, first met a culture wonder. And I'm like, uh, no, thank you, you. You got lucky you were actually moving that way because you almost missed it it was incredible like his scout was on top like on the north you went no wait his scout was the, right the in between your scouts he... yeah basically your scout was I right I in between. wrapping around i wrapped around this mountain range <laughs> and it was right there yeah but also um i didn't like the the uh, positioning like i was struggling to think of where my districts would go on the first mm. map yeah, it was it wasn't the best. Um, you can probably watch like and see the spectator point of view. I had the giant to. cosplay. But, um, no, yeah, that, no, that wasn't. Was no, that was that was not the giant cosplay. That was a uh, no, weird both. one. We no, have I, had, I, I had two wonders. Yeah, that's he had why both. I he like. First... You had two wonders. Yeah. Yeah, he first what met both like turn turn eight. Know. He had one just down the <laughs> river and then one to the left. Wait, they're both culture wonders as Zulu. Come on, what's going on? By the way, did yeah. you, did you, uh, see, toilet? Did you notice? Uh, I like I was like, should I ship tender for Zanzibar? But then I didn't queue, and then I was like, nah, I probably don't need to ship tender because my warrior was so close. And then you, he still first met it. Uh, I can't quite remember on that exact situation, but oh, okay. uh, I, I, I yeah. think Zanzibar met me. I think, and it was fairly early. Oh, okay. I think yeah. that's what happened. I was like really surprised because my warrior was like straight walking there and uh, I'm not... Wait, the one the one the one thing i did want to ask is why did you go on money in mogadishu because it wasn't for golden age was it just for cs control for like winning congress yes basically i um i wanted to get like uh more vision and i wanted to help like like i thought about um mm. doing mexico city but then uh, i last minute changed my mind because i was i was thinking that since it was like so far south and i i could kind of zone his units that maybe i could prevent him from meeting it mexico. yeah so originally i was going to put it in mexico but then i changed it to mogadishu and, I, and it was okay. just congress but did you yeah, but... were you able to boost political philosophy yes yes i oh. i kind of wanted to try and give you on your minds with units but then i just tried to get past and i got yeah. my warrior that is it true because you had two units yeah, near the cap, and then uh, you went around. It felt really annoying because I kind of wanted to just walk into your land with my warrior, but uh, I was like, no, I need to find these CS first. And uh, uh, damn. I did grief you a little bit with my my level two scout. Yeah, that was actually pretty good. I I, I made a mistake myself. By the way, I could have like prevented a little bit better, but it's fine. Oh, you yeah, it was really, yeah. really good value. Really yeah, good value from the fish uh, scout, cool. delayed the settler, and then the mine pillage, and then it ran away. And I didn't see where it actually died, but it, it got a lot of value. Up in, in the, north, up in the yeah. snow, in the snow. Yeah, it's, it, but, I, it was killed by zero ran. <laughs> did, did you chop a spear in Minuji and forget to hit it? Is that what happened at the end of the turn? Yes, I was giga salty because <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna cancel his shift enter, and I'm uh, gonna get spearman boost. You know, in case I need to build MP. Wait, fish, did you get a spearman boost, or did you get it from? No, a I hard teched it. I think. Okay, maybe I just missed out, but your mill tactics went from like nine to 
and then a few turns later, I was like, whoa, he's got it in free turn. I think I finished Maybe. my plus four campus around that. Yeah, okay. I think. I think. It went down really quick, and I was like, whoa, did he get a boost? But then we looked, and there was no spearman, no campus or boost. Um, I was like, no. I was actually very happy he got the scout there on the mine, and I was okay with it. Because I was like, okay, I'm gonna chop spearman, it's gonna be <laughs> fine. <laughs> I move my sling in district, it chops in cap, and then I lost hit to cancel shift enter, and no. Forgot. Yep. Yep. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> have a good night, uh, Bull Batch. You too. Yeah, GG, well played. Good games. GG's. Yep. Thank you for allowing and, uh, us to stream. See you. Yeah, GG's. Well, have a, I do um, want to thank everybody for joining us uh, also. We did have Task for Fish um, and putting another one, another win on the board against Manuji this time around in this one. We won uh, from the Royal Rumble. This is a tournament organized by Alexis Kremp. It did start a few weeks ago, like two weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken, or three weeks ago. And we're going to cover it, keep on covering it on the stream and in the score show as well. You know, we're going to need to. Um, <clears throat> wait for the first games uh, to be uh, scheduled for the cwc the major announcements will probably come out tomorrow evening or uh, uh, latest uh, thursday in the morning and uh, we're going to see um when they are going to go for the schedules in this weekend this is the first uh, group stage and we're definitely going to have quite a few uh, fighting games uh, thank you so much for joining much appreciated for the support of the stream thank you so and i do hope you enjoy the content i also hope uh, you're going to leave a like and a subscribe over then and we're going to see each other in the next streams um probably probably it's gonna be thursday i'm not sure we're going to need to see what kind of games are there tomorrow night maybe we're gonna get another one of these 1v1s and i did see a few two versus twos are starting to get scheduled uh see you uh, next time and if you want to take a look at my discord or ask me anything uh, just uh, use exclamation mark discord in twitch chat or take a look at uh, the video description down below the vod uh, will be available the video will be available soon on youtube uh, just uh, wait uh, i think it's like an hour and an hour and a half it's gonna take me and uh, it's not gonna take me it's gonna take youtube to actually process it have a good evening everybody and see you next time bye bye